Hi, my name is Paul Lima. I have MS or multiple sclerosis. I have a disease I can barely pronounce and I have a new daily persistent headache. Not going to go into great detail about that. Google it. You'll find out like MS, there is no cure for a new daily persistent headache. So I have a, a double whammy, but enough about me. Today, I would like to talk about healthy people. And please notice, I said I want to talk about healthy people, not to healthy people. There is a difference. We, people who are sick with chronic diseases and illnesses, uh, we often want to talk to healthy people. We want to say to them, stop telling us we look good because we feel like crap. Stop telling us what to do to fix ourselves. We go to doctors and neurologists and they can't tell us what to do. And hey, if you're um, a practitioner of holistic uh, health, uh, good on you. I'm, I'm sure there are some things in terms of diet and exercise that I can do that would make me feel a little better. But please don't tell me you have a cure for my MS or my New Delhi persistent headache. You don't. But look at that. I'm talking to healthy people when I want to talk about healthy people. And here's the reason why I want to talk about healthy people. If you're sick and watching this video, please try to remember back to a time when you weren't sick. For me, I have to go back 22 years. That's how long I've had MS. The new daily persistent headache is about six, six and a half years. Um, so try to go back to a time when you weren't sick. In other words, you were healthy. Did you know any, many sick people? If you're anything like me, and I, I may not be like you, you didn't know anybody who was sick. You associate it with other healthy people. If you met a sick person, what were your thoughts? How can I help you? What can I say that might make you feel better? Or perhaps if you were like the younger me, how do I get away from you? You see, healthy people, they're the round hole. We sick people, we're square pegs. We don't fit. That's not to say that as a person with disease, you can't have support of healthy people around you. I have a few friends, family members, my wife, bless her, great healthy people to be around. But the fact is, my circle of people that I know has shrunk greatly. Why? The square peg doesn't fit in the round hole. I can't go out and party. I can't go out and drink. I can barely go out. I pick up my trusty cane and walk the dog. And hey, I know people with MS, they're in a scooter, in a wheelchair, they're bedridden. They don't walk the dog. They don't have a dog to walk. You know, at least I can do that. Yes, my legs are starting to go. Yes, my head hurts and it's constant 24 seven, except when I'm asleep. But then when I wake up to go to the bathroom, bang, there it is. I don't expect healthy people to relate. I don't expect them to have solutions for me. And it's nice when they are empathetic. But beyond that, what, what can they be? Think back to when you were healthy. What could you be? I mean, if a family member were sick, yes, I'm sure you would be empathetic. You would be there. You would help them if you could be at their bedside, do some things for them. And, and that's cool. 
you know, that's a healthy attitude for a healthy person to have. But let's face it, most healthy people simply want to get on with their lives. We sick people, we get in the way. If you're as sick as I am, and I'm not as sick as many people that I know, you're very limited in what you can do. So what are you going to do hanging out with healthy people who are simply trying to get on with their lives? They're working, they're playing, they're partying, they're going out. You know, that's, that's life. Do you remember that life? When that was your life, you didn't walk around thinking, ah, but there are people who are sick who need my help and assistance. So, healthy people who try to help you in ways that don't help you, yeah, they're a pain in the ass. But think about their intentions. For the most part, their intentions are positive. Now, if you are a healthy person watching this, I will talk to you for a moment. There's nothing you can do, nothing you can say that's going to make my MS or my new daily persistent headache go away. Trust me. I've seen the doctors, I've seen the neurologists, I've taken the meds. I belong to Facebook forums where there are literally hundreds of people who have my various maladies. Nothing makes them go away. So don't try to cure me because you can't. I know what happens to healthy people. You, you get kind of confused. You're not sure what to do. So if you want to know what to do, listen up. All you need to do is say, I'm sorry you're feeling this way. I wish you weren't. If there is anything I can do to help you, please let me know. And then zip it. Because you're not going to cure me. Don't suggest stuff for my headache. Trust me, the doctors have. I've been on various prescriptions, vitamin supplements. I was on an injectable, 5,000 bucks a shot. The good news, I wasn't paying for it. They were trying to get the drug approved here in Ontario, where I live, Toronto, Ontario. Uh, they were trying to get the drug approved by the Ontario government, so they were giving it away. And the doctor said to me, he said, if you have a persistent migraine, this drug may alleviate your pain by 25, 50% or perhaps even more. Would you like to try it? Of course I would. So I tried it. Once a month, the injection. Five months. Did absolutely nothing. The doctor said to me, okay, you don't have a persistent migraine. What you have is a new daily persistent headache. And there ain't no cure. So ladies and gentlemen, please don't try to cure my headache. Same with my MS. I know a lot of people on different meds who have tried different treatments, and some have been successful, put air quotes around that. It's alleviated their symptoms a little bit, or it has stopped the progression of their symptoms. But trust me, nothing has cured them. Nothing you can say or suggest will cure my MS will make my new daily persistent headache go away. So this was supposed to be about healthy people and here I am talking to them. <clears throat> but what I want to say to you is be empathetic. Ask me if there's anything you can do. The answer is usually going to be no there isn't. And that's fine. Let's watch a movie. Let's share a meal. Now that the pandemic is almost over, <laughs> um, you know, let's do stuff together, recognizing my limitations. 
And the fact is, if you can't stand being around a square peg like me, somebody who is sick, ill, diseased, I understand. When I was a healthy person, I did not hang out with sick people. I applaud the healthy people who do. I just hope that they're not trying to do anything to cure the sick person because they can't. You know, so that's what I want to say today. Healthy people, be empathetic. Tell me you're sorry that I'm feeling sick because I believe you. You really are. Don't try to cure me. Ask me if there's anything you can do. And the answer will probably be, thanks for asking. No, there isn't. Let's get on with life. And to those of you who are sick and you get upset at healthy people for ignoring you, understand they can't deal with sick people. A lot of healthy people cannot deal with people who are sick. I understand it. When I was healthy, I couldn't deal with sick people. I'm being honest. I did not want to be around sick people. I did not want to be around me. Selfish? Small-minded? Yeah, but also healthy. You know, like minds think alike. People with like symptoms think alike. They, they, they get together. You know, I'm on the MS forums. I'm on the forums for people with MS, for people with New Delhi persistent headaches. And I'm on the forum for people who like British TV because I watch a lot of British TV. So like minds, you know, the fact that I'm sick isn't preventing me from watching British TV. So I want to be around other people who like and watch British TV. They don't need to know I'm sick. All of a sudden, I'm a square peg in their square hole. You know, because we're not talking about illness. We're talking about TV shows we like. So if you're sick, what is it beyond your illness, beyond your disease that you can do, like to do, want to do? Seek out people who are like-minded and hang out with them, be it online or in person, without having your disease, illness, become an issue. And yes, if you're so sick where that's impossible, you have my empathy. You really do. I'm sorry you are feeling that way. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. And I'm not being facetious. I mean that because as sick as I am, I am healthier than some people I know. If I can help them in some way, I would. I also understand there is probably no way that I can help them. So if you're a healthy person, understand that. Be empathetic, be sympathetic, ask if you can help and understand that you probably can't. Don't try to cure us. And if you're a sick person, and you say, I've lost my friends, I've lost family members, hell, I know sick people who have lost their spouses, barely see their children, understand that they're not sick. And they have difficulty dealing with you, with me, with us. Remember when you were healthy? Were you Mother Teresa? I suspect you weren't. Did you hang out with sick people? I suspect you didn't. So that is my talk about healthy people and yes to healthy people as well. But also to sick people. So once again this is Paul Lima from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The guy with MS and the New Delhi Persistent Headache feeling like crap, but talking through it, talking about and a little bit to 
healthy people. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or thoughts or want to connect with me, Paul MS Lima, L I M A, Paul MS Lima at gmail.com. Feel free to send me an email. Take care of yourself. Take care. Bye now.